Hi, mate. You all right? <laughs> yeah, good. How's it going? Yeah, good. Did you manage to get some sleep? Well, probably eight and a half hours. Right. So, yeah, first decent sleep in a while. Good. So, yeah, feeling fresh. I think audiences will have found Poland to be a really interesting experience. Why are we still filming? You know, these types of business trips happen quite a lot. And uh, obviously, we were filming in Poland to capture the conference. But, you know, filming in London uh, is pretty cool because people can actually see what type of effort, commitment and the types of work and habits of work that need to be implemented to maintain success uh, or even just to get successful. So getting successful and maintaining success um, in my industry, trading and portfolio management and pretty much any other industry. Sure. So I think it's good you know, to continue doing what we're doing. You've seen the schedule this week, right? Mm-hmm. We, we discussed it yesterday. We've got half the mentors flying on, on Wednesday, half the mentors flying in Friday. Uh, we've got Institute Traders meeting up. We've got uh, Institute Alumni. Mm. Uh, we've also got the seminar on Thursday, which is huge. And we've got the super conference on Saturday. So the schedule is ridiculous. So I think basically, if we just carry on, like we did in Poland, I know I'm just on a normal business trip now. So you just carry on following me around. And if we do that, I think people are going to get a really good insight into what it takes to become successful in trading and portfolio management and actually any other industry. So let's continue filming. And uh, if anything comes up, you know, that you think people will find useful, any thoughts you might have, any discussions you want to have, just let me know. Ask sure. questions. Sure. Mm. It's funny you say that. I mean, something that I have been thinking about since yesterday uh, has been quite consistent, in right. what you say. So okay. actually, I think... I probably do have a question that okay. uh, people might find interest. Let's sit down in five minutes, yeah? Cool. Cool. Um, part of the schedule yeah. revolves around the mentors. In fact, almost all of the schedule revolves around the logistics involved in flying in institute mentors yeah. from all over the world and yeah. ensuring that they can meet not only with each other, mm. talk about the company, but meet with retail traders. Mm. Why is it important to have a mentor in this industry specifically trading and portfolio management yeah uh, I guess that's the question yeah it's a very relevant question it's it's no different to any other industry you know people for some reason think trading and portfolio management is different I don't know why it really is the same as any other industry you need the older guys in the industry to give you guidance in your career and show you what's what. You know, for guys who have been there, done it, bought the t-shirt, been around the block several times. Um, and it, I think it comes really down to uh, two things with mentors, in, specifically in, in uh, trading and portfolio management. It's, first of all, when you're young, uh, really understanding how the industry operates, how the industry works, knowing the ins and outs of the industry. Um, And secondly, guidance in the details of how to actually become a successful trader. And one of the first things that you really have to uh, understand, uh, not about the industry, but how to become a successful trader over time, is how you uh, deal with and how you lock out or eliminate, if you like, Uh, emotion in your trading and that was really important for me Uh, when I was a young trader it took a long time you know to really become a trader that's I guess unemotional about positions portfolios the financial markets Um, because the market really doesn't care about you as an individual and money doesn't care the stock doesn't care that you're buying or shorting. Um, any asset class that you're in, money is, in, is unemotional. And you have to be unemotional about your trading decisions and your P&L. You have to have, uh, how do you put it, like uh, emotional detachment. If you, have emotional det- if you have emotional detachment to your P&L, 
um, then you can actually have consistency when you make losses and when you actually win. So when your P&L is down, when your P&L is up throughout your career, and consistency is really, really important. And this is why people get emotional in trading, because they can't handle that stuff. They can't handle losing money. They can't handle making it. And it's, it's different emotions, but it, they're still emotions. And what you've got to remember is, is in financial markets, and this is really key, like you really have to accept this in trading. When you buy something, you pay the offer. And when you sell something short, you sell on the bid. And your P&L, when you buy, is marked on the bid. And your P&L, when you sell short, is marked on the offer. So you're losing money by default. Yeah, exactly. So essentially, the moment you press the button when you trade, you are losing. And losses are just a part of the game. And you just have to accept that. And most people just can't accept it. Now, <clears throat> for me, I picked it up quite quickly because I had some seriously good mentors when I was young. Obviously, I was at Goldman Sachs. And the guy that really taught me this was Christopher Cathy. Right. So I was 21 years old when I walked into Goldman Sachs. And Chris was one of my mentors. And he really, really nailed it into me how to eliminate your emotions from trading and how to get emotional detachment from your P&L. And obviously Chris is gonna be here, mm -hmm. so you should actually ask him that question.